Nine centered humans are not here to control the world. We're not here to be a slave to what the mind thinks we should do. We need to put the mind through its proper, into its proper place through the mechanics. And the only way you can do that is the decision-making strategy, your strategy and authority. You can understand this conceptually through your mind. You can see the words on the page. If you have an undefined heart center and you recognize that feeling like you're not good enough and you have to prove yourself, you can, you can recognize your own thought process. Just the mere recognition of it doesn't fix it. Have you tried? Have you experimented? Have you seen? It doesn't fix it. The only thing that fixes it is that mechanical strategy and authority, which is why Ra put it in place. It's not the original knowledge. It is what he synthesized and put in place. They're like training wheels, guys. They're like crutches. Once you live that way for long enough, your body will not allow you to force it into an incorrect action. You flow in harmony with life's movement. Life makes decisions through you instead of you trying to force reality to conform to what you think your life should be about. I'm hoping that that makes sense. It's a big, big, big shift in our reality. The mechanics of strategy and authority bypass your conditioned mind because you're not believing it anymore. You're not believing the story inside of your head about yourself. Instead, you use your decision-making strategy. So then mind stops being an authority. And that is the moment when you, get, you start getting the life that you were intended to have as a nine-centered being. Instead of wanting to have all of those things that you thought you thought you thought you wanted, that you deserve, that you should have in your life by now, I'm 40 years old, I should have a house by now. What's wrong with me? You know, instead of that crap, you have an availability of energy to live life to the fullest that feels satisfying and successful to you. And it doesn't matter what the fuck anybody else thinks about you or it or anything. What matters is your frequency of how you live your life. So there is no comparison. You have no comparison utterly in the world. Even if you find somebody exactly born on the exact same time, on the exact same day, in the exact same place, no two humans can operate in the, occupy the same space at the same time. We are all vastly different. We are not here to have a singularity of focus. We're here to have an openness to having life move through and live us. Okay, so the awareness that I'm trying to impart to you is the greatest agent for change if you can implement the decision-making strategy. The more that you have an awareness of your limitations and an acceptance of the limitations of the form, the more that you can accept it. It just is it's this feedback loop that allows you to have more ease and flow and less resistance if you can make decisions correctly as yourself. Now, I don't want anybody to feel bad if you see yourself initiating in your generator or a projector. That is a beautiful learning experience. You have to trial and error this. It's the only way to be able to figure out how it really works. So that's why we call it an experiment. Awareness here in this term, in case you're new to um, English, I know sometimes people do that, try to take classes from me and not maybe aware of what <laughs> the words mean. I really wanna point out, awareness is knowledge or perception of a situation or fact. What human design does is it changes, it shifts your perspective, your awareness, your perception. Because if you have the me mechanics, if you have the availability of energy to recognize the logical system and to put the pieces together, to watch that puzzle piece fall into place, your perception changes. It's not so much that your life necessarily changes quite drastically, although some of us are on a trajectory that the life changes quite drastically. But what can happen is that your perception changes and then therefore everything shifts in your life because now your frequency is different. You're not living from the perception of the not self or the openness in the design and identifying with that is who you are. You live from a deeper level of awareness, these layers of selfhood that can be uncovered if you just let go of all of the conditioning that you think that you are identified with that you have to make a decision because of. So you're not self-mind, not self, simply meaning not consistent. It's not what makes you who you are. It's bombarded and buffeted by all of this conditioning elements, all of the neutrinos. Remember, what is it? Trillion? 
in that little square inch, yeah, every second, bombarding us with the program, the program that we all live in. We live in a soup of neutrino, an ocean of neutrinos that moves through us and then moves out and conditions the next person. When something new is put in front of us, what happens is we tend to try and use our mind to deal with it. And all of us have these programs and these structures. If what is coming in at me doesn't fit my model of reality, then the mind filters it out. We have to be aware of this problem, this, this challenge, because it's a habit from seven-centered life. Because remember, the seven-centered focuses specifically. So if you've been born and raised from childhood on, when I found human design, what was I, 40, 35 or something? And my whole life believing there's something wrong with me, I'm not good enough, I always make mistakes can't trust my own decisions, then anything that comes in, that's my model of reality. So we're tearing down that negative self-talk, the false and mistaken belief systems by having you recognize what they say, which is homogenized, so you'll be able to recognize it, and how to not identify with making a decision because of that thought. You are not the thoughts you think.